on Twilight Gap. We've got three Titans on the other team. Two are using hammers, three stickies across those two. One's using a bubble with two suppressors. We've got five grenades, three of which will stick, that are all intended for me. Southern Bell, Corrupted Light, thanks for taking me in. Let's see how this goes. Oh my, okay, so they're chilling on C. I'm gonna, you know, not hang there. I don't even know how to get a good angle here. Are they still on C? Yeah, cool, there goes one of them. This guy's probably gonna challenge because he knows I'm weak. And that's exactly why 1v3s are so tough when grenades are so powerful in the current meta. It's unfortunate, but it's the way it is. That is the exact reason that 1v3s are such a struggle lately. Because there's five of those LBs waiting for me. Five of them! It only takes one to take me out. Alright, well keeping distance is going to be important, but keeping distance on a small map like this isn't really the easiest thing in the world. Exiles, and then we also got to be able to guard reses. Trying to throw that on there so he can't push it. I'm still trying to push it. I'll take my Colette. Don't stick me. He's trying to like stick himself now. Don't punch me either, please. One more bullet's needed, so we'll make sure we hit it. Cool. Good. Um, I'm going to thank the tips after the game. I see them and I appreciate them, but let me read them and thank you specifically after the game. That was a good round. We obviously got a ton of super energy there too. They're very grenade focused. You see them before they're shooting, they're trying to throw grenades at me. So keeping distance is definitely going to be important. But distance is also sometimes rough because it's harder to guard revives. And um, it makes it so they have the opportunity to build up super. And honestly, having two hammers in a bubble on the other team, supers are scary. Again, I'm going to probably throw a wombo combo once the res starts. Down. Three opponents That's why. Down. That's why. <laughs> Your opponents lie broken so, awake. I have the option of not throwing the wombo, obviously. Yes! Fuck yeah! Let's go! Yes! First H1 win Hi, sound YouTube. clip. But it makes more sense to throw the Wombo before I guard the res, because that way if they are sliding and if anything like that's happening, then, you know, there's grenades and smokes there to really mess them up. And both of them wanted to try to help push just in case, so that's why you put the Wombo combo there as the res is coming up. Either they don't push and you get the free kill easily, or they push but there's a lot of shit going on. Yeah, I might have one down in there. I think I should. Yeah, I, I can't stay here though. This guy is chasing me. I've got to try to be sneaky. I want to be able to guard this. Okay, so both rounds are... That's just how it goes. I'm working my ass off to try to get these kills. And both round losses are... Somebody clicking LB. Um, Did everything I could to get away from that spot. I thought I'd have a res down in C hallway from the wombo combo, but I didn't. Um, I can use my tether if I need to, which I probably should. And I was going to, but I never really found the opportunity. Okay, we're going to go get our health back. So they're in C hallway. I don't really think I should go in there. Like I said, keeping distance. Party room doesn't really allow you to keep distance. But sometimes in order to move around and guard reses and get your health back, you got to work yourself into tighter spots. You don't have the luxury in 1v3s of choosing your, where you are all the time. you got to move around a lot. So they're, yeah, they're, they're trying to make me come to them. Fuck, there's somebody in their spawn. I think I'm dead here. Oh, he's right there. I was going to tether, but he got me on the first chaperone shot. I thought he jumped up. I made a juke move attempt to try to go down low because I thought he jumped up top. But he missed his jump. I think I literally lost that round because he missed his jump. I think if he made his jump, I just snuck past him. But he missed his jump. So I went to the wrong spot. Arg. All right, well, I don't have a spike nade. I don't have a spoke. Or I don't have a smite. Oh, my God. English. Never mind. You guys get it. I might have to tether. Heavy ammo available. Now I shouldn't need to because it's just one person. Okay. Cool. They... I don't think they have supers yet. 
I've been holding on to my tether forever, so if oh, I don't... I'm going to fucking lose it, man! <laughs> Just to clarify... All these alerts Nikki during JD the 1v3s, the damn it. Suck. Again, I'll thank you guys after. Um, holding on to my tether's been kind of nice because it's going to make it so maybe when they pop hammers, I'll actually have the ability to tether them. But I would have had a second tether by now if I had used this tether immediately. Oh, I almost sniped him out of that. So we're going to have two hammers, I believe, coming at me. That's my guess. That probably made enough orbs for two hammers. They're also Blessing of Light. Um, we're going to have to just be as sneaky as possible here. And it's not going to be easy. This guy knows I'm going to do this. But I'm trying anyway. We're going to keep going. Kind of going to wait for their Blessing to run out. Which the bubble just went away. They still will have Blessing if they were in it at the end. Dang it. There goes one of the hammer guys. There goes the bubble guy. Last guy might pop hammers. Um, I don't know where he is. Somewhere by this res. It'll be awkward though. He's got enough distance where I could tether him, but he could throw a hammer before the tether latches and I could die. I got the zone coming up. Hopefully this makes him come towards the zone. If he does, he'll be in smoke. Unless he's behind it, which he is. There it is. Okay, so they have two hammers. Are you facing me? What? All the alerts. YouTube, again. Always at the end of the round. Um, so they have two hammers. I've got one tether. I've got snipes. I can snipe people out of hammers. The but they've got two hammers. And uh, distance is going to be kind of important. As I've been saying all game. I'm glad they didn't use the bubble on the zone. I mean, I can't beat that. The silence is killing me. They're rotating to my spawn. I just need to get up top then. This guy has hammers, so if I can kill him, that'd be sweet. There's another guy right behind me. Okay, this guy's the bubble guy behind me. Hammer guy's coming from a different angle. I don't like where I am right now. Probably gonna pop a tether here. Did he not go up top? Oh no. And I'm suppressed. Oh no. No. Damn it, guys. That's bad news. He's coming from behind me. I've got to rush forward and try to get this guy. I have no palindrome ammo. No! That was a body shot? Seriously? I gotta reload. He's gonna get both reses. Can't believe that was a body shot. Okay, that nade's gonna keep them off for a bit. Oh, what a crazy round. That's too bad. So the biggest choke, obviously, was I was almost 100% sure that that man was running into the room to get the revive, and I popped Tether. But he wasn't there. Now the biggest fear is if they get their damn bubble back, I lose. Literally, automatically, I lose. Um, we avoided hammers. If that, how was that a body shot? Ah, uh, how was that? How was that shot dealing 80 damage when he came around that corner? That's gonna be one that goes on YouTube and has instant replays for sure. Check that out, guys. See if if for some reason that didn't hit his face. Was his arm blocking it? Like what made that miss that man's face? So they're chilling in C hallway and in party room, all of them. Let's see if I can get an angle on the C hallway guy. If I can land my jump. I had an angle, but I missed it. Got one really weak. I'm, clo I'm close to throwing on Fell Winters, but I'm nervous. I'm not going to get my super back. So now I can get double smoke and double grenade for the last round. 
This is gonna be impossible. Good game. Moody Marlin. Mimi Mini Mad and Ghost Weapon. Good game. I came down to the round before the last one. Last one just didn't end up well. They all three hid. As you can understand, it's 4-4 in a 1v3. They're terrified of losing. The entire game, they basically spent hiding inside of Party Room and C. It was a good game nonetheless. You can see why they would do it. But the round before, where I tethered thinking that he was coming into that room and he wasn't. And then I swear I hit a head snipe on a Titan because I was aiming head level right when he came out. I hit it. I dealt 80. Ah, it comes down to that. Good game, though. It was fun. We had some good plays. I think, I think it was good. Just a good one overall. I hope you enjoyed it on YouTube. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Check the description for links and stuff that could apply to you. And uh, yeah, thank you.